in this video, we are going to drag this element to this drop here element using Selenium's Actions class. Inspect both elements, right click the first web element, and we see draggable as the value for ID. Right click the second element, and the value for ID is droppable. Let's go to Eclipse. We have our setup and the teardown methods. The test method is drag and drop target. Start by loading the application driver.get URL. There are two web elements. First is web element source equal driver dot find an element by ID. The value for ID is draggable. Next is the target web element target equal driver dot find elements by ID. The value for ID is droppable. Import web elements. Did you notice that both web elements were located inside an iframe? Close the DOM and right click again. View frame source is an indicator that the web elements are within a frame. Recall from the switch to frame videos 29 through 32, we must switch to the frame before performing a command on the web element. If not, we will get an exception while executing our test script. Let's write two forward slashes, I frame. And we see there is only one iframe on this web page. As a result, we can use the index to locate the only iframe. Go back to Eclipse and add our switch statement. Driver dot switch to frame index zero. Now we implement the actions class with act as the object reference new actions driver in the parenthesis import the actions class object reference act dot drag and drop here we go the drag and drop methods look at the description a convenience method that performs click and hold at the location of the source element, moves to the location of the target element, then releases the mouse. The parameters are source and the target. Next, we perform the action by writing perform. Let's run. That's it for dragging, then dropping a target. In this video, we are going to automate dragging this slider to the left and right using Selenium's Actions class. Also gets the value. The application is range slider. Before we test, let's load the AUT driver.get. URL. Start by writing our web elements, web element slider, web element output. Now let's find the element. Inspect the slider and write two forward slashes div, two brackets, at id equal, two single quotes, js range 
slider hyphen zero one forward slash div bracket two bingo copy the value go back to eclipse equal driver dot find elements by xpath paste the value driver dot find elements by inspect the output and the value is js output by id js output next we add the actions class with object reference act equal new actions class driver at our method is drag and drop by let's look at the syntax in the previous session we used drag and drop to move the source to the target in this session we are going to move the source using the X offset. The description states a convenience method that performs click and hold at the location of the source element moves by giving offset, then releases the mouse. From the parameters section, we see X and Y are the offsets. X moves horizontally, which is left and right while y moves vertically up and down the source is slider and let's move the slider left by making x negative 100 y offset is zero finally we perform the action by selecting perform let's print the output so we can see the value in the console sits out what is the output after dragging left output dot get text let's run The console shows 110 after dragging slider left. I'm going to copy and paste the code for moving the slider left. Our method will drag the slider right. So I'm going to change left to right for the method name and the print statement. Then change negative 100 to positive 100. Let's run. Now the console shows 110 after dragging the slider left and 490 after dragging the slider to the right. Next, we will automate dragging a slider up and down. In this video, we are going to automate dragging this slider up and down using the Selenium's Actions class. We will use the Range Sliders application. Inspect the slider. It has a span tag with the class attribute. This time I'm going to use CSS and not XPath. Write span dot range hyphen slider hyphen handle. And there are 11 results. Let's bypass the parent element 
and to use the grandparent div dot small hyphen three space. I created another video called ancestor child relationship that explains this CSS value. Copy the value, go to Eclipse. Our test will drag the slider down at test public void drag slider down web element slider equal driver dot find element by CSS selector paste the value we are going to get the value after dragging the slider so let's inspect 50 the value for id is slider output 2 web element value equal driver dot find element by id paste the value actions act equal new actions driver act dot drag and drop by move the source which is the slider using the x offset or the y offset we are going to use the y offset slider is the source X offset, zero. Y offset, 34. Dot, perform. Let's also print the value. Sys out, what is the value after dragging the slider down? value dot get text load the AUT driver dot get now let's run we see the console shows the new value 32. Copy and paste the code for drag slider down, change down to up. And make 34 negative. Run again. The console shows 32 for down and 70 for up. That's it and thank you for watching how to drag a slider vertically. All Part 1 ebooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium Automation Book. And TestNG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.